The line, a 100 mile long city in Saudi Arabia, may come to mind when you think about future cities. But are you familiar with the round, futuristic crypto metropolis in the Caribbean? Everything you'd anticipate from a smart city of the future will be present, with the exception that Bitcoin will be the main focus. If that doesn't sound crazy enough, the whole city is going to be powered by a massive volcano that sits right next. Today we will explore this insane mega project. Stay with us till the end to know all the incredible details that make this idea so fascinating. Crypto cities are a relatively new idea and they have many different connotations. The most common definition is that of a city that uses cryptographic techniques to achieve diverse goals. Using blockchain technology, for instance, might improve public participation and government transparency. The core idea of a Bitcoin city is to support the community with revenue from cryptocurrency sales, local energy for Bitcoin mining, and foreign investment. Plans for Metropolis, which would be financed by cryptocurrencies and be constructed at the foot of a volcano in El Salvador's southern coastal region, have been unveiled by President Nabu. It will be built on the Gulf of Fonseca in the community of Lanyan, not far from the Honduran border. The proposed city would be financed by the sale of Bitcoin bonds and function on geothermal energy, from the nearby Khan to a volcano. The city was first announced during the Latin American Bitcoin and Blockchain Conference in 2021, and it is a part of Bukate East's ongoing adoption of Bitcoin. Last year, El Salvador became the world's first country to make cryptocurrency. It is the official currency. As if the currency shift wasn't enough, the president now intends to double down on his crypto bet with this new Bitcoin city. To finance the city, El Salvador intends to issue a billion-dollar bond which will be invested in acquiring more Bitcoin and building the city's infrastructure. Bitcoin will be used to secure public debt payments rather than fiat currency. In May 2022, the El Salvadorian government made its largest Bitcoin purchase to date, purchasing 500 Bitcoins at an average cost of $30,744. The announcement came as Bitcoin fell more than 50% from its all-time highs. Bloomberg Agency estimated that El Salvador had acquired 2,300 Bitcoins in 2021, and today these tokens have a total value of 74 million, a significant reduction from the 103 million bouquet paid for them. The Caribbean country is not in a position to take on more Bitcoin-related expenses due to fears of debt default, not just crypto. Other investments are also suffering, and there's no easy way to recover the losses. An unbelievable 13 trillion was wiped from the stock market this year, and it is more than the GDP of Japan, Germany, and the UK Combin. With stocks and crypto taking such heavy losses, the problem extends beyond just El Salvador. According to Ken, 72% of economists think a recession will hit the US next year. With stocks still suffering, investors are changing their strategy to prepare and investing in alternative assets like gold real estate and art. The New York Times says, when stock markets take a dive, people look to invest in art. Not to mention art had an average yearly appreciation of 33%. The last time inflation was this high. According to Masterworks All Art Index, Masterworks offers shares in these multi-million dollar artworks, and to date they've sold five paintings with an average net return of 26.8% to investors. Even as the stock market is having its worst start in 50 years, Masterworks is flooded with demand as people are looking to diversify. There is a wait list, but you can bypass it by clicking the priority access link in the description. El Salvador's ambitions to build an expensive Bitcoin city are dubious. However, it will be interesting to see how this city will be built in collaboration with Blockstream, a digital asset provider. Infrastructure El Salvador will issue a $1 billion bond to raise funds for the completion of Bitcoin city development. Following the sale of the bonds around the world, $500 million will be used to purchase cryptocurrencies, and another $500 million will be used to plan and build the city's infrastructure for mining and producing Bitcoin. The geothermal energy from a volcano, which is also used to generate Bitcoin, would power the Bitcoin metropolis. The process of mining Bitcoin uses a lot of electricity. In order for the city to operate, a sizable amount of geothermal energy would be needed. During this process, which emits nearly no pollutants, the volcano acts as a constant source of heat. It is completely renewable and pure. The geothermal energy needed for this project will likely need to be mined for five to seven years. The initial stages in the case of the Kantua volcano are happening 
or have already happened. President Phuket declared in June that engineers had already drilled a well with a 95 megawatt geothermal capacity at the location. It will likely take at least another two to three years before the plant can start generating electricity to be used for a Bitcoin mining hub around it. Although geothermal power is easier to operate, it has very long lead times. Also, it is about 25% more expensive to produce than solar and about 82% more expensive than onshore. Basically, geothermal power is five times more expensive to develop and three times more time-consuming, but it can produce five times the energy of solar and more than twice that of wind power. Although this way of making energy has been done on a small scale elsewhere, getting it to work at a city-wide level will be a significant challenge. With that being, now let's dive into the different features of the proposed Bitcoin city and how its residents will benefit. This crypto city is circular in shape, taking its form from the shape of a Bitcoin. It was designed by renowned Mexican architect, Fernando Romero, the founder of Architecture's Studio Free. President Bouquet tweeted about the cap and a golden model for the city in May 2022. Bitcoin City is progressing splendidly. A metropolis with concentric rings that extend out from a central square with the Bitcoin logo is depicted in the golden model. Along with pictures of many iconic structures that would be constructed in plazas, Bouquet also unveiled pictures of a circular, commercial, and residential neighborhood. Despite the fact that the model had a golden color, the company also published a number of realistic models to reassure viewers that the city would not be totally made of gold. He also disclosed that a sizable circular observation deck would be constructed atop the volcano. He explained the actual city will be mostly green and blue with a beautiful lookout in the volcano. The city would also boast zero carbon emissions as it will not be powered using fossil fuel. With this new mega-project, El Salvador seeks to create a smart city fully based on the use of Bitcoin as a cryptocurrency, and this city will be free from most taxes. The president has given out a statement that there will be no income tax, no procurement tax, and no city tax. The only taxes imposed on them during his second term will be used to pay for bonds, municipalities, and the rest of the city's upkeep and infrastructure. The funding of the Bitcoin City project has received a lot of criticism. Cities all across the world rely on a range of taxes to maintain their operations, including state debt based on fiat and property taxes with variable rates. According to President Bouquet, he intends to use the additional funds provided by the cryptocurrency to replace the city's reliance on tax revenue. This method, which is currently not supported by any international financial institutions, has actually caused the performance of the previous Salvadorian bonds to fall. El Salvador's plan to establish a crypto city comes amidst fears of default as credit rating agencies have raised concerns about whether the country will be able to meet its debt repayment. With the cost of El Salvador's sovereign debt collapsing in April 2022, government bonds are now trading at 40% of their original value as investors start to doubt whether the country can meet its next debt payment in January 2020. On top of that, many Salvadorians simply don't know how to use cryptocurrency correctly or feel like it's been forced on them. Only 20% of El Salvador's populace is reportedly still using the Shiba Wallet app, which the government created for daily cryptocurrency transactions. Despite this, President Bouquet is determined to move ahead with the Bitcoin City project. Possibly in the future, other volcanic countries seeking novel approaches to generate sustainable energy will look to El Salvador for direction. We'll just have to wait and see whether this metropolis materializes. What do you think about this massive project? Tell us in the comments section below. We appreciate your time and we'll see you in the following video.